Well, hi, this is Scott. And question came up today of how to create a SQL Server running in a virtual machine in an Azure um, CLI command line. So we're going to switch over to the command line environment. We'll go up to the top here to the Cloud Shell. And I'm going to scroll this up. Now, Bash is my default shell right now, and that's that's the command line. That's where we want to be. If you're in PowerShell, you might want to switch into Bash, or you can do the equivalent commands in PowerShell. We're going to start off with the, the simplest thing to do, which is to create a resource group. So AZ group create, and you give it a name, and you give it a location. So that will be an empty resource group where I can create my resources. Now, Creating a virtual machine, like you can say AZVM create and start the process of creating a virtual machine. But we're looking for a very specific image in the marketplace. And there's literally thousand plus images in the marketplace. And so uh, what we need is to know the exact name, how to refer to SQL Server in a VM. And there are so many different options. It is not so straightforward. So I'm going to clear this out. Now we're going to start this quest by looking for the publisher. If you go to the Azure Marketplace um, in, in Azure, in the portal, you can see that there are literally um, thousands, a thousand plus images to choose from. We've got uh, various publishers, we've got various operating systems and all that wonderful stuff. So we need to find the SQL Server. Like if I did a search for SQL Server, we need to find the uh, exact image name, URN it's called, for the exact image that we want. And it's a bit of a quest. So let's go back to our CLI and we're going to say AZ VM image. And the first thing we're going to do is say list publishers. And we know that we're going to create this in the East US region. So let's look for publishers that are available only in the East, you know, available in the East US region. We don't want publishers that are not available. Now that comes back in a JSON format and it's not very readable and usable. Let's, um, I found this little, little trick and I'm going to copy it here from my script and paste it. But there's this dash dash query and then square brackets dot name and then I'll put tab separated format. And so it, that takes it away from JSON and makes it into a sort of a readable format. So this is a list of all of the publishers of images in the marketplace. You'd think, well, Scott, Microsoft published it. It's pretty clear it's Microsoft. Well, Microsoft doesn't just say Microsoft. There is no valid publisher that just, just says Microsoft. There's, there's literally dozens of Microsoft options. The one that we want is called Microsoft SQL Server One Word. Okay, so that's the publisher who's published the image that we want. So I'm going to go back down to here. So now we now we know the publisher. The next thing we need to list is the author or the offers. So AZ VM, VM image, and we want to say list offers. So Microsoft SQL Server is the publisher, and we want this in East US. We want to see what uh, images that Microsoft SQL Server offers. Now, once again, we could let that run and it will come back in JSON format, not be very useful. I'm going to use my little uh, quick tip here to say query, and I only want the names of these offers. Now, it takes a little bit of interpretation, but we can see here within the offers, we've got SQL 2008 R2 SP3, the Windows Server 2008 R2 SP1. We've got a couple of dozen options here for SQL Server, ranging from 2008 all the way up to 2009, and also different operating systems. So the earliest versions of Windows uh, of SQL Server are running only in Windows, but then when you get to SQL Server 2017, you can see Red Hat Linux and Ubuntu, and so there's a few um, options. So what we need to do is we need to choose one of these as being. Now I'm fairly old-fashioned. I'm going to choose um sql server 2016 running on windows server 2016 okay that's going to be the 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 offer that i'm going for you can choose whatever makes most sense for you but we're not done yet now 
within this, there are different versions, right? There's the developer version and the enterprise version and a web version and other things like that. Standard. So let's go AZ BM list, BM image list SKUs. Again, we know the publisher is Microsoft SQL Server. This time, we know that the offer that we want is SQL 2016 SP1 on Windows Server 2016. We want this in East US region. And I'm going to do my little trick to say I only want the names of these of these SKUs. We can see there's only five SKUs, Enterprise Express, SQL Developer, Standard and Web. We want the developer one for our example here. We're almost done. So we've got the publisher, we've got the offer, we've got the SKUs. Now we need the image. What we need is what is called a URN. And so we're just going to say uh, AZVM image list. And we're going to have to, we're going to see all the available images and we're going to have to re replicate this here SQL 2016 SP1 Windows Server 2016 and the SKU is SQL dev and we want this in the East US region and it's this time instead of wanting the name we want is what's called a URN uh, which is the, sort of a universal resource name. Now we can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten versions of this. And it appears to be dated, right? So it's like September 19th, uh, September 2019, August 2019, July 2019. So every month they're releasing patches and you know, you know the latest updates. So maybe we'd want this latest, this latest URN. So at this point, we know exactly what we need. We want an AZ VM create. We have to give it a name. I'm going to call this uh, MySQL, MySQL server. I'm going to put this into my resource group that I created at the beginning of this video. And this is the tricky bit. So we want the this image. And I'm just going to drag the, my mouse and copy the image name, we're going to pass in the image name. With the Windows Server, we have to give it an admin username. Um, I have my admin username. You also have to give it an admin password. Now, I'm not going to use my usual admin password. This is a totally made up. This is not my password. And so hopefully that's a valid Windows password. Um, this, yeah, you have to pass in the password um, in this unsecure fashion. If I hit enter, oh, it doesn't like my, really? It doesn't like my, my password. Oh, bash this is not my password. All right. Well, that's a, a bash element, I guess, with this, this bang means something. So um, this will go off now and create me an Azure VM with a SQL Server image with the user ID and password that I gave it. Um, this takes a few minutes. Obviously, it's creating all of those resources to create the virtual machine that has um, the SQL Server already installed. It's going to take five or ten minutes, but I'm sure that will that will eventually be successful. So that's how I cr found the exact version of SQL Server that I wanted, and that's how I got the URN in order to create the image.